I think hobby shops are important to all pilots uh, because it gives you a point of contact to talk about the aircraft that you're interested in. Uh, even if you've been doing this for a long time, there may, may be some new technology or some, some uh, new equipment that you, that you may not have experienced. And that's where the hobby shop uh, staff comes into play and they can talk about those things. There's some good information out there, but there's a lot of information out there. And, and on, the, on the internet, it's about culling through some of that a lot of times. We've really tried to find where the good information is uh, and go to reliable sources like manufacturers or the Academy of Model Aeronautics uh, that can really get us the right information. So hopefully we can pass on the correct information to a pilot that's trying to figure a problem out. Almost every budding pilot comes in wanting to fly a P-51 Mustang or fly a full uh, collective pitch 3D helicopter. Because uh, that's what they've seen in, in some online videos or, they, or they've been to a field and seen some of that going. And I mean, it's really, really neat. And that's, that is some exciting things. But uh, a lot of times we have to tell people you can't fly that, so we're really not interested in selling you that airplane. But let's talk about, let's say, a Hobby Zone Apprentice or uh, a Sensei or something that, that's going to get you started because we, we say that we're interested in your long-term success, then it's a matter of getting you into a trainer-style airplane, hooking you up with a local AMA club so you can probably have someone that can help you learn how to fly as well, not just leaving you on your own. That's the idea. They want to get a good value for their money. Um, and they're afraid of taking this airplane and taking it out and blasting it into the ground. I mean, I think every pilot's had that, uh, had that, that sentiment, so they know what it feels like. Um, but what we, we talk to them about is that it doesn't have to be that way necessarily. Again, the resources with you know, AMA clubs and, and uh, other local flyers as well as the hobby shop, we can help, help build that success in there. Um, so that's one element of it is, is really getting people comfortable with it. This is something you can do. One of the things that I, when I first started learning to fly, in fact, actually learned a lot on a simulator, was learning the technique to land. And it was repetition of that technique. It was, you know, I know I can take off and I can probably fly it around. I might be able to do a loop and a roll, but can I get it back on the ground safely? And that's one of the most fundamental skills you need as a pilot is landing the aircraft successfully in a safe manner. So practice that and make it a point to yourself to every day practice three or four landings, or every time you take off, practice you're gonna land. And then you get good at that skill. And so it translates then to me when I'm out at the field, I see other pilots struggling with their landings, and things like that, and I tell them, you know what, sometimes I come out here with, say, an apprentice, and I spend a half an hour just taking off, making one lap around the pattern, and landing. And then do that over and over and over. And then once you get used to that, then as you go into some of the aerobatic maneuvers, you use the same technique. You practice that maneuver over and over and over to hone your skills. And I think that's where the simulator comes in, is using it as a tool as opposed to some of the game elements. Everybody I've met in my years of working in a hobby shop or at the field or whatever, everybody is interested in you flying successfully. Talk to someone who is already who already flying, be it a hobby shop owner, another pilot. You know, you use that to your advantage. They're, they're there for you. There's no stupid questions. They want to help. So use that, use that resource.